So you've gone on the carnivore diet and few weeks into it, you don't feel all that great. In fact, you feel a little bit worse than better. It feels like the carnivore diet doesn't work for you. If this sounds familiar, watch this video. Welcome back to Big City Mom channel. diet works for the majority of people that try it. I would say probably 85 to 90 percent of people that go on the carnivore diet will report phenomenal results including reversal of some chronic diseases. Now there is a small group of us with severe gut issues and or autoimmunity that have to be really precise and careful how we do the carnivore diet. So Today, I will address some challenges and what to do about them when it comes to carnivore diet not working for some of us. Let's think of a following scenario. You are down to meat, fat, salt and water. You are in ketosis for the last two months and you don't see much of progress. Yes, your focus, your sleep got better, but the main reasons your gut and your joints are still in pain. And you're still in pain after you eat every meal, which is meat, salt, fat, and water. What could be the reason? Well, this is all anecdotal, but I found it all over the world with so many different clients that I had that the salt was the issue. Yes, I know it sounds ridiculous, but when we change the salt into the most refined one that happen also to be just in about every market and is really cheap, um, that took care of the problems. It seems that the natural salts that are least refined with some dirt and minerals in it can upset some of the very sensitive guts and cause autoimmune uh, symptoms. So once we change the salt type many of my clients have improved their results with carnivore diet now among that group there is also some people that had to give up on salt altogether and then they started seeing results now i know this sounds like really really restrictive because you're basically eating meat fat salt and water and now i'm telling you eat even less salt or no salt at all but in some cases uh, the gut is so compromised that there's just no other way around it and you have to bite the bullet and for a few months uh, just be on this very restrictive carnivore diet but uh, people do have results when they adjust their uh, carnivore diet this way let's talk about meat most people that have severe autoimmunity really bad gut issues won't even look at chicken or fish they will just focus on eating red meat so beef, lamb, pork are the most common ones. Now, even with eating only red meat, I'll get these cases from all over the world, totally random. Somebody can eat beef, but not lamb. On the other hand, somebody is fine with lamb, but not beef or uh, pork. Uh, somebody can actually eat organic chicken, but lamb gives him problems. It is just all over the place. And so I couldn't really figure it out, like there's just no pattern here, it just happens like totally randomly, at least that's what it felt like, until I had a client who emailed me a few months after that he moved from one town to the next and changed the place from which he was getting his meat. And guess what? It turned out that beef was fine, just from a different source. And then I found out that different places, especially supermarkets, can use their own preservatives, their own um, chemicals that they can douse the meat with and you may be reacting uh, to that so if you think there's absolutely nothing nothing left for you to eat without having a bad reaction in your gut just try changing the place from which you're getting your meat and that may be the solution all right I have to talk about supplements again and this pertains to so many people that are health conscious because we really associate taking of supplements with optimal health. That is how it is marketed to us and I'm a uh, victim of it as well. I've lived on supplements for a really, really long time until I got to the point that I had bad case of autoimmunity and I had to get on the diet that would seal my leaky gut. 
and with that supplements aren't all that helpful so what happens oftentimes even to my clients that will agree that we won't be doing any supplements for the time being they will still find a way to sneak in some supplement here and there maybe it's the cold season so let me take some vitamin c um, i just had too much food today so maybe i need something for my digestion like whatever the excuse may be if you are using carnivore diet as a dietary intervention to reverse leaky gut chronic disease things like autoimmunity for the time being stop all the supplementation give it two months and then see what happens all right this is also really unexpected one and i want to talk about the dishwasher detergents that you are using specifically the finished one that gives your dishes the nice shine the compounds in it are known to cause leaky gut and exacerbate it so you might be having your carnivore diet all worked out but you're sensitive to the stuff that is in this finished liquid and it made to, the, to your plates from which you are eating or in the glasses that you are using and it can also cause problems and guess what i'm not the only one that figured it out dr natasha campbell mcbride discusses the issue of detergents used for dishwasher in her book gut and physiology syndrome as well and so she's suggesting just to stop uh, using of the dishwashers altogether. I would say that if you start with removing of the finished liquid and see if this helps and or find a natural environmental friendly detergent that is baking soda based, this may be a solution for you before you have to go to the old fashioned way of washing your dishes with uh, soap and by hand. And also let's talk about your pans especially the ceramic ones and I hope you don't use the Teflon ones anymore I was fooled by this as well that the ceramic ones supposed to be the healthier option to the Teflon ones but guess what they're not that much better and they scratch so easily and whatever's underneath that coat of ceramic layer comes out and it is not friendly to your gut so if you're still cooking in Teflon or ceramic pans get rid of them especially if you have leaky gut and bad case of autoimmunity just forget about them stick to the cast iron or stainless steel let's talk about your mouth and more specifically your dental work if you have silver fillings the so-called silver fillings and or root canals you're on a carnivore diet months go by and you don't see any results then you might have to take a look at what's going on in your mouth a lot of people are sensitive to metals and the silver fillings are really made out of mercury and with time tiny particles of that mercury can travel other places to your lymphatic or blood systems and contaminate other tissues giving you autoimmune like symptoms so that may be the case why carnivore diet isn't working for you even though you're doing everything right similar situation can occur with the root canals we put in in the united states about 25 million of root canals every year and about 70 percent of them get infected now this happens because as you need to have the uh, main nerves removed to get the root canal completed it kills the blood supply to the tooth so in effect the tooth becomes dead but at the same time this creates a good environment for anaerobic bacteria to start multiplying and thriving in that environment and so as you use your teeth and that grinding motion causes the bacteria to move around through your lymphatic system to other parts of your body including your heart so this become now more and more popular that before you have to have a surgery on your heart the doctor will ask you to go to the dentist and make sure you don't have any infected root canals because the same bacteria that is found around infected root canals can make it into your heart yes this is true 
In the beginning of the century, there was a very famous dentist, Weston Price, who wrote the book about his journeys around the world because he wanted to demonstrate that vegetarian diet is the most optimal diet for humans and what he learned was just the opposite, that every a healthy tribe that he visited around the world was heavily meat-based and the plant foods were just a fallback if they couldn't catch any animals. And one of the experiments that he did was uh, one of his patients uh, had a bad case of rheumatoid arthritis. She was basically uh, wheelchair bound and she had lots of root canals. He removed all of them and the woman began to walk again and 70% of her symptoms went away and she reduced her medication by like 90%. So if you want to find out more research about uh, Western Price, there's a whole Western Price Foundation. It is really amazing resource. But yeah, if you are doing a carnivore diet, you have root canals and or silver fillings, they may be sabotaging your efforts to achieve health. So take a look at that and that may be a solution to your issues with carnivore diet. And last but not least, let's talk about tea and coffee yet again. And yes, I know tea and coffee belong to the plant kingdom, but let me tell you this, a lot of people that are successful with carnivore diet continue drinking tea and coffee. Obviously, it's the plain black tea, plain black coffee, uh, no sweeteners, no creams in it. And if you have any version of the metabolic syndrome, so things like hypertension or diabetes type 2, you will have excellent results even if you drink tea and coffee on your carnivore diet. But those of us that have really bad gut issues and or autoimmunity, even a little bit of coffee and a little bit of tea once a week or even bi-weekly can sabotage all your gains and I'm speaking from experience. I used to drink lots of tea and coffee, especially tea. I was just crazy about it. I loved it and I believed it was healthy so I was drinking lots of things that were good for me. That's what I thought then. And let me tell you this, this was the oxalate thing in tea or whatever else that was there, maybe some other additives that were in tea, was causing me lots of autoimmune symptoms and I felt so much better just two days after I stopped drinking tea. And ever since I didn't go back to drinking it, maybe on occasion after six months of being on a strict carnivore diet that I tried to bring back tea and I did not enjoy it. Uh, immediately after I drank it, immediately, like 20 minutes, I felt this tingling all over my body, like as of though I had a re allergic reaction to tea. So I used to love tea, but no longer. So if you are one of these people that love to drink tea and coffee and want to sneak it in here and there, but don't see the results or the results slow down after you drink it, just stop for three, six months, maybe even a year, you have to do it, do it. When you get back to maintenance phase, you may be able to bring it back and enjoy it from time to time. Okay, so these are the reasons either I experienced myself or observed with my clients that were sabotaging their progress while being on the carnivore diet. Now, it could be very simple, changing the salt type, or maybe changing the butcher, or changing your dentist. Going to the biological dentist will take care of your issues and unlock the opportunities that carnivore diet has for your health. All right, if you haven't yet, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.